谢大家。呃 ，Thank you very much。呃，我今天演讲啊，呃，需要用英文，但是在演讲之前呢，我先用中文跟大家打个招呼，因为呃，一样说啊，这个他来用中文表达，因为他代表台湾，那。我们希望呢 ，MH 呢能够代表全世界，所以我们因为很多在线上的朋友，跟将来在呃这个媒体上面的这个曝光度，所以我待待会用英文有同步翻译。So， 嗯、um, ，在我讲这个呃今天的这个介绍之前啊，我先跟大家分享一下我们今天的这个开会的一个流程啊，呃。今天早上呢，我呃在刘董讲完以后，我讲完会有呃主要的这个 Gardner 是我们的 partner 来给我们做一个市场的分析。那么十点五十左右呢，会有 l o r s t o w n 就是我们 Ohio 跟 PTT 在泰国 Around 的这个 partner 来给我们分享他们的进程。然后再来是在呃 EV 的 brand 呢 a p t e r a 跟这个 Monarch。他们两个，一个是农用机，一个是这个太阳能电池车，呃，他们也会跟我们分享。呃，最后呢，当然就是早上的议程里面，在我们吃饭之前呢，会有一个 supply chain 的分享，是关于这个整个目前 semiconductor 就是在半导体方面的这个呃进程跟问题点，那是由 IHS 来分享。那下午呢的行程，其实更更加的是在。详细的介绍目前我们整个呃在各个地方进入市场的时候呃的所有的这个进程，包括呃我们现在整个平台化是由这个红华先进的一位同仁来跟我们介绍我们整个平台是怎么样。那在 EV 的这个 manufacturing 跟 business 上面呢，是会在呃美国、泰国，然后在接下来在刚刚刘总也讲说印尼、沙特阿拉伯。这些我们陆陆续续会介绍，但今天会在美国跟泰国做一个更详尽的说明。然后下午呢，我们最后会有一个 Q&A。然后呃，外面有一些这个 MH 的伙伴啊，他们展示的东西当然还没有被 approve 了，但是可以在外面呢，请大家这个做参观一下。呃，所以呢，这个整个的这个今天的议程是一整天的，也谢谢大家今天的参与啊。但是呢，在我用英文讲之前，我还是要跟大家说明一下，今天最重要还是安全问题。大家知道前几天这个被地震这个震到的这个这个感觉吧啊，所以如果有 emergency 有一些紧急状况的话，我们希望我们能看到这个三个逃生口。呃，我最右边的这个是一号逃生口，然后后面你们进来的门是二号，然后后面还有一个门三号。所以待会如果有真的有什么状况。In case 万一啊，是希望大家能够按照工作人员的指示，呃，很顺利的这个疏散，呃，也谢谢大家的关注。So before I really talk talk in English， 我在讲四点啊，在，因为刘总说要我讲英文啊，这个英文不是我的母语，但是呢，我尽量想把它讲好，但是呢，我要把这四点传达给大家，呃，其实啊。这个是在台湾的土地上，跟台湾人讲我们在台湾怎么望远全世界。呃，主要的是我们在未来的电动车的供应链，台湾将扮演结合大陆跟海外最佳的中继站。那么，台湾在电子元件跟新创半导体产业呢，有国际上难以撼动的这个地位。台湾在扁平化跟透明度上面呢，也表现优异，在一阶、二阶、三阶、四阶这些供应商协作上，很有很自由的灵活度跟透明度。最后，台湾最大的两个产业不能被忽视的，在全世界，半导体跟 EV。我希望大家能够在这边一起努力，呃，给我们在台湾这块土地发扬光大。谢谢。So, I start my English presentation. Uh, I would like to also welcome. There's a lot of uh, institute supporting our efforts here. Today we have uh, from AIT, from Canada Trade Office, Taitra, uh, our uh, trading office in Taiwan, and British office, Thailand Board of Investment, and also the 
Taiwan Electric and Electronics uh, Association, plus Business Sweden, and also the Indonesia Trade Office, and the last but not the least, the Auto Well Foundation from Japan. So you can see a lot of diversity today that they're supporting this event. I, I would like to apologize because of uh, this uh, venue is not as spacious as we uh, can imagine, but as Chairman Neil say, we would like to see a bigger scope in the future. So we started from small, okay? Um, we have also an advisory committee. The advisory committee uh, comprised of the industry, the governmental, and also the academic uh, field background. Uh, we see from the left, uh, base Chen from Wispro, Bo Chen Chen from uh, uh, National Taipei University of Technology, and also Bob Chen from ITRI, our industry experts, Colin Wong from AAM, Jerry Wong from ARTC, and also Jason Xu, he's a, a former legislator. Uh, Elisa Chu, she's here today, she's from Anchor Taiwan, and Cai Yijian from National Development Fund, and I see Liu from the Contemporary Law Journal, and the Jack Guo from SGS, Li Lan from uh, Pajian Advisory Group, and Hermes Liu from, uh, Herm, from the Gardner. So all these advisors are giving us a lot of uh, direction and help us develop the MIH Consortium. This is our technology committee's member uh, from the industry. We have C.F. Chen from Foxtron. We have Charlie Ye from the Yulong Group, and Jerry Yu's from the Med Media Tech, and uh, Lu Ba Tang from Sky Miser, and Zhang Yang from Otoko, Max Chen from Chen Michael, and Paul Fan from Saibavo, Troy Wu from Foxconn, and Ni Xin Chang from NI and Cassie Ye from Microsoft. I would like to thank for their support for the last year, and we have a lot of progress in this uh, consortium. It's all because of their support. Thank you very much. So today, as what Chairman just shared with you, the five years plan, I will have to elaborate more on what we're gonna do in the next five years. Of course, from 2020, we have started the uh, uh, alliance. In 2021, uh, we put the orchestration and also the organization to, together. But 2022 is very important. For us, we started to develop the reference design for the industry. And that's very, very critical because this is the first in the industry we develop openly with the partner. So you are the partner to this, and I see this as our critical milestone. 2023, as we say, we are going to the market. Are we going to all kind of market? Of course, it's not just one market. US, Europe, and also uh, the Asia Pacific ring. We are concentrating on building our relationship with all the different uh, uh, affiliation. In 2024, there will be an adoption of the MIH solution and ramp it up. And 2025 will be the critical mass. The critical mass meaning uh, at least in the car industry, 100,000 units per year per car. So that's a pretty challenging uh, objective. And I think uh, Yang has a vision that we want to make sure that not only Honghai has that kind of a challenge, but also to the industry. Everybody come together and we build a, a force for Taiwan and for the world. If you remember this, last year, uh, this is the funnel. The funnel means you have to put everything together and then you started to filter and then you make sure the best of the best come through. For our funnel, uh, we have 2,300 2, uh, members already, as what Chairman Yang said. But we are actually trying to build a 16 working group. These 16 working group, I will show you later, but 
16 working groups are working diligently and make sure everything is coming to a system, a modularity, and also a solution. And in the end, uh, we will help them through the funnel go into the market. So that's the best purpose of this foundation. And I think that uh, nobody in the world has done this because most of the foundation, they put together uh, association for communication, but not really pushing to the go to market. So I think with us and with also the support from founding member Hong Hai and all, all the other member, we will make it happen. So that's MIH stand for. Make it happen. Thank you. So seeing the first funnel, the first funnel you can see a lot of uh, supplier partner are here with a very big names, but also they are new startup, diamond in the rough. That's something that we really have to explore. And we have the partner management team and the marketing team to make sure all these alliance members are all working together and collaborate. So last year, uh, as you can see, what have we done last year? We've been done March for a first gathering, and then in June, we kick up the MIH Consortium, and in October, we have the 2035 exhibiting all our solution uh, potential from the partner. So that's a good start. So what are we going to do this year? Because compared to last year, we are putting together all the organization. But this year, we are making sure everybody is being taken care, working together, get the solution, get the supply chain ready, go to the market. So it's a very clear message that we have to make it happen. So with Fast Council support, the working group management are actually working in 16 working group, uh, working group uh, uh, structure. All this structure will make sure that we have a transparency and we have fair comparison of the solution. I want to show you a video and make sure you understand it better. Please. In October 2021, MIH kicked off its first working group. And here are the key working group updates. Security and OTA. The mission is to create a zero trust ecosystem for vehicle lifecycle management, security prevention and over the air, trusted security for V2X, smart secured access for vehicle management, AD ADAS, drive-by-wire API, the mission is to develop requirements and specifications and offer an AD implementation agnostic platform. Smart Cabin. The mission is to standardize communication protocol and development interface, allowing different developers to interact with system resources, such as camera and sound sensors, with different vendors. Powertrain. In order to achieve longer range and speed performance, passenger car will focus on two-speed gearbox powertrain reference design and commercial car will focus on EB Maxell reference design. For standardizing components, we will focus on SIC as the first topic, and more updates will be released in the near future. can better understand now how we work together. Uh, this is the structure of our 16 group. The 16 group actually are uh, sponsored by all the members as you are here. Um, I would like to uh, highlight four chairman, uh, the chairmanship of four working group which are already established. The first one is AD, ADAS, the Autonomous Drive a Group, which is sponsored and chaired by the Tier 4 Auto Wheel in Japan. And uh, the second one, the Vistion, uh, the, the Wistrong Group, they are sponsoring for the security and OTA. Uh, for the Powertrain Group, is sponsored by American Axle. 
and then uh, the thermal system is sponsored by the Denso. So these groups are kicking off, and the rest of them will be coming together piece by piece. So I would like to thank four of them, uh, have a good spearhead to make sure that we have the working group working together, and this solution will then be split into, into the car and make sure the industry reference design are being met. So this is critical, and I'd like to also make sure that everybody understands there is a process to get this approved. So this is the approval process. It's simple. Basically, if you are chairing this working group, you make sure all your design are best all of the best, and then you submit to the technical committee's review. That's why I introduced you the technical committee's member. They have a diversity and make sure they have the expertise to approve this, make sure that all your design are known to the world and have the global, global customer to apply for it. So this is the very simple process. I think we will elaborate on the more detail, into, including the documentation later on. Uh, in a nutshell, this is really getting everybody excited. Wow, finally you have a chance to show to the world what you have done. With FastCon support, the go-to-market, as, as you can see today and this afternoon, we will be sharing with you more about what we're going to do in the go-to-marketplace. Remember, remember this chart? Last year, this chart below the line was the supply base and the infrastructure. Everybody is taking the picture, but I can tell you this chart will be even more exciting next year. But from this year, uh, you can see below the line, automotive industry supplier, the ICT component supplier, and then the electrification supplier. This is the traditional supply base. It's moving toward the software development, the cloud connectivity, and the blockchain and metaverse. So with all the diversity of the supply base and the partnership, we will support above the line the Monarch, the Uptera, the Fisker, the Lordstown, the PTT, and all Indica and Gogoro. All these go to marketplace that they come to you to use your solution. And this solution becomes so critical and you have to be doing this best all of your best, okay? So I would like to encourage people to really take it very seriously because without doing it with a craftsmanship and also with the best of your heart, it's really hard to hit the best in class in the world EV market. So we will explain to you more today about all this go to marketplace. As Chairman Liu just promised you, we are committed and we will be supported by Foxconn big time. So I think that uh, after my speech, there will be more speech from our VIP guests. Um, the first uh, speaker will be from Gartner. Gartner is our biggest supporter of this consortium and they have shared last time a lot of insight of the market and today uh, Pedro is going to give us uh, more insights about the marketplace. So uh, we would like to play the uh, Gardner's video because uh, Pedro is uh, calling in from uh, Europe. So this is a video to share with you. <laughs> 